Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to install Go.4, the .NET version and we're going to use Visual Studio Code as our editor and .NET 7 as our .NET version. Start by going to go.engine.org then click on download up here and click on go.engine.net and this will download the file for you. Next you want to go to code.visualstudio.com and download the stable build for Windows. Next, to find .NET 7, just bring up Google or DuckDuckGo or whichever search engine you're using and type in .NET 7 and click on search. It should be this first guy up here, download .NET 7. And here, find the Windows version and click on X64. And we have now downloaded all the files that we need. And I'm going to open up the go.zip file. This guy here. And I click on this folder here. And I'm going to copy this guy. I'm going to go to my C drive. And I have a folder, go dot. I'm going to paste this guy in. Next, we're going to install .NET here. Just click on install. This will take a while. So I'll fast forward. Then click on close. Next, let's bring up the Visual Studio Code setup and run this guy. Select I accept the agreement and click on next. Then click on next again. And click on next. And if you want, you can add the uh, open with code to the Windows Explorer file context menu and the Windows Explorer directory context menu if you like to. I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on install. Leave this checkbox ticked and click on finished. And once Visual Studio Code starts up, go here to extensions. And we're going to search for C Sharp. Click on install. We can now minimize this guy and close the browser. And I'm going to go to the Go folder and 4.0.2. And I'm going to select the first guy here. Hold down the Alt key. Then you can see it's going to create a link on the desktop. I'm going to drop this in here, like so. And we can now start up the go.engine. Just click on cancel here and click on new project. Just call this guy test. Click on browse. And I'm going to be here in my documents and projects folder. And I'm going to create a folder here called test. And OK. Click on select current folder and click on create and edit. Once the go.engine starts up, click on editor. Then editor settings, scroll down to the bottom, click on editor, select the Visual Studio code here, then click on close. Let's just create a 2D scene. I can call this guy main, scene, save scene, create folder, scenes, and I'm going to save the main.tsc and file in here. And just to make something work, we can drag in the SVG file, something like that. Right click the main node. I'm going to click on attach script. Select C sharp script from the drop down and click on create. This is going to open up Visual Studio Code for us. You can see here some projects have trouble loading. Then just click here on show output. So you can see what's going on. You can maximize this guy. And we can see here the default SK resolver failed to resolve SDK go.net.sdk because directory .net 7 here and the SDK did not exist. And the solution is simple. All we have to do is just close down Visual Studio and you also have to close down the go.editor. Just make sure you save the project first. Start up the go.editor again. Then open up the test project you created earlier. Then just click on build up here. This is going to build the project for us. And open up the script again. If you get some squiggly lines in here, just press F1, type in Omni, and find the Omni Sharp, restart Omni Sharp, and click on that guy. Once you've done this, you should be able to have IntelliSense, gd.print, hello, and let's go back to the go.editor, and if we click on play, it's gonna say no main scene has ever been defined, select one, so we're gonna select the main scene here. And when the game starts, we can see hello down here. So we can close this guy down, let's go open up the code again. 
and now we want to be able to run the debugger so click on run and debug here click on create a launch json file and select .NET 5 plus and .NET core we can delete all these warnings like so and here we want to put in the path to the go.executable and to do this just find the path where you have unzipped your go.installation copy this path and now you need to change all the back slashes to forward slash instead and at the end we need to find the executable name go back to the file manager right click the go.executable click on rename and then copy the stuff here Control c press escape paste this guy in here and type in .exe and save the file and now if we click on start debugging it's going to say could not find the task build file then click on configure task then click here on create task json file from template and select dotnet core now we can select different options here but we're going to select dotnet core launch console and if we now click on play it's going to start the project for us here but nothing's happening so we can close this guy down let's go to the main cs file and we want to add some stuff in here so we can put the debug point in here click on play and there is stopped you can press f10 and continue debugging and to make this not go crazy fast just multiply with delta as well which i forgot to do i can save the code and let's click on continue we can make this a bit smaller so we can see what's going on here and build in the go.editor so let's increase this guy to 100 instead save and click on debug again and once this reaches a thousand pixels over here we're gonna hit the breakpoint like so all right what we also can do is to start up the project and just let this run and go back to this guy and we can select dotnet core attach and if we click on play now we can choose which process to attach to so search for godot in here and there's two of them so which one do we want to use you can see if we hover this guy you can see it's going to say editor on the end and this guy is going to say remote debug so click on this guy and click on continue and when this reaches a thousand pixels we're going to hit the breakpoint now and you can just click on disconnect all right guys so this is how you set up go.4 with dotnet 7 and wishes to decode as your editor thank you guys for watching please like subscribe hit the notification bell and see you in the next video bye for now